Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Enchev and in this video I'm going to show you how you can enable security for your Blazor application using Kurzen Blazor Studio. I'm continuing with uh, the application created in my previous video uh, connected to our sample database and scaffolded uh, with several pages for adding, deleting, and updating records for orders, order details, and products. Now, we can enable security. Press security button from the top left corner in our ZBlazor Studio and choose the security type. You have an option to select .NET Identity Security Azure AD and Windows. For this video I'm going to use .NET Identity. Press Next. Now you can configure the security. This is the data source and the database that are going to be used to store the .NET Identity tables. You can enable user registration you can enable uh, password reset for the user. You can enable multi-tenancy support. Of course, you can select um, whether partial classes should be used or not. And you can finally select the form field type for security pages. So I'm going to use these settings for now and press finish. Now Zen Blazor Studio will create for you several pages related to security, including a login page, uh, pages for adding users, roles, and a profile page where the user can update their passwords. Okay, let's wait a bit more for everything else to be generated. So, the .NET uh, Identity Security will create several tables in your database using Entity Framework Migrations. And Arzen will generate for you these migrations that are going to be run on the first application start in the programs, yes. So, let's check the pages in the designer. Here is your login page. Here is the profile page. You can update the user can update the password and you have pages for adding rows, users and of course to list them with option to delete the rows and users and for users you can actually edit and update the user. So let's run now the application to check the result. We are going to wait for .NET to build the application. And when the application uh, is started, the first page that are going to be displayed is the login page. So now you cannot, cannot view by default the pages, but you need to log in. There is a built-in admin account with admin user and admin password that can be used to log in in the debug mode in the application. Now, as you can see, there is an admin menu where you can open the profile page 
for the admin user is not uh, available. Users page and roles page. Let's add some roles. For example, I'm going to add admin row and I'm going to add user row. Now, let's add some users. So, I'm going to add first In, and I'm going to select that this user is part of admin roles row. So add some users. Okay. And I'm going to add a user account. Should be part of user row. And again. Let's save. Now let's log out from the application and attempt to log in with some of the newly created users. For example, with the admin. As you can see now we are logged in the application using the admin user. Let's try to log to the normal user. And the normal user is working as expected now. You can update if uh, this is needed. But let's return now to Razen Blazor Studio to enable some of the pages to be visible for admins only. We can do that, for example, from the page setting. Let's say that this page should be available only for admin roles. We can select the admin role from the dropdown and let's run the application again to verify that the normal user cannot access the orders page. Um, we are going to wait .NET to build the project. And let's check now we are locked in with the normal user and we should not be able to see the orders page. As you can see, an authorized page and message is displayed since this user cannot be used to access orders page. Let's log in using the admin user. And now we should be able to navigate the orders page. And here we go. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.